Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again for another video. Um, I know I'm a day late, but yesterday I had a lot going on. I was at my cousin's wedding and I had some fraternity parties and stuff going on yesterday. So yesterday was wild. But yeah, so I'm literally at the wedding and I see this Terrence Williams news on my phone. And I literally was like in the middle of everybody's quiet in there. And I'm like, what? And then people looking at me, I'm like, <laughs> I was like, at that point, I knew that I'm addicted to football because I can't, news comes in, you're like, what happened? When I seen Terrence Williams' name come up being arrested, I said, nah, man, nah, nah, it's crazy. So there's different stories surrounding it. I'm not going to fully say that, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that he is by all means, we don't know exactly what happened. What he says in the statement is that he was driving his Lamborghini. Somebody stopped in front of him. He hopped the curb to try to avoid it. He hit the light pole. I guess he must have hit it hard enough because he mentioned that the car wouldn't start. He said he was near his house in Frisco. His neighbor picked him up, took him to his house. He then got his electric scooter rode it back to the area to meet the tow truck driver. Um, and one of the Frisco police that he said he met in the past basically said to him, I'm going to arrest you without giving him a sobriety test. And this is what he says. Now, if you look at his mugshot, you can clearly see that he's intoxicated because the, of the way he looks in his face. He don't normally look like that. I mean, I know your mugshots are made for you to look muggy that's the whole reason why it's called a mug shot you know what i mean it's not it's not a glamour shot we're not out here taking pictures for vogue or essence so basically he was intoxicated but we don't know the full story somebody else could have been driving a lambo because the stories don't match from what the police report says is different from what he says so i guess we'll find out soon what exactly happened but I'm I'm gonna withhold my judgment right now just till I till I exactly know what's going on. But I will say that it doesn't look good. We already got rid of Des Bryant, so you know the team is like, look, put up or shut up at this point. They can I mean they quite possibly could cut him to uh, you know make him an example out of somebody because we just got these young players that got drafted and we don't want them think, coming in here thinking that, oh, I can have a DUI or I can do something crazy and still be on this team. Look what happened to Nolan Carroll. He was still on the team, but he played a couple of games. They cut him because of performance. But at the end of the day, I look at it like this. If they cut him, it's going to be a cap hit regardless. So that money's got to come from somewhere. We're still paying Tony Romo. We're still paying Nolan Carroll. We're still paying Cedric Thornton. There's players that we still have contracts on that we're still playing on. I kind of don't want any dead money right now. But if they cut them, then it is what it is. We got a full wide receiver cast. Um, that could pave the way for Cedric Wilson that we drafted, Michael Gallup that we drafted. Um, we still got Noah Brown and Lance Lenoir. So these guys can step up. And they're probably thinking like, hey, go ahead and cut them. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and come out here. We're going to ball in training camp. We're going to do what we got to do because we focus. Now, Terrence Williams has never been in trouble in the NFL, period, since he's been in the NFL. So I look at it like this. I mean, it could be a situation where maybe he knew he was intoxicated. If, in fact, somebody else was driving a Lamborghini, um, he was probably like, here, drive my car because I don't want it, anything to happen. But then something did happen. Um, if you look at if those of you that are um, hip-hop artists, if you know who Offset is, Offset is... Uh, one of the members of the group Mingos, um, he crashed his Hellcat Challenger. And again, these celebrities do crazy stuff. Chris Brown lets people drive his car. What was it, George's Ventador? Yeah, crashed his Ventador and, 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 you know, but lessons learned. These guys are young, they got expensive, fast cars, and sometimes things gotta happen for you to, these mistakes gotta happen for you to learn. Again, they're all in their 20s. I mean, you know, because I'm pretty sure if you gave me millions of dollars when I was in my 20s, I'd probably be a little, 
<laughs> I'll probably be driving fast and doing crazy stuff too. But again, you know, you live, you learn, you mature. But we'll see what happens with this situation. Um, I already know you guys are going to weigh in with your comments. I know a lot of people say, go ahead and cut them, forget it. Um, make an example out of them. But I'm a type of person, I like to know all the facts first before I prejudge and, you know, make assessments and stuff like that. That's just me. But yeah, on my way to Wine in the Woods with my favorite couple, my frat brother and his wife. So I'm in their backseat right now, chilling, living lavishly. <laughs> but anyway, this is your boy E2Blue, always keeping it real. I'll talk to y'all later.